Right. Let's take a look at one more way that we can use track mats um, and a different way that we can work with mask. And what we're going to do is we're going to wipe text on with it using trim paths. So let me start by making a new composition. Composition, new composition. Um, we'll use the same settings and we'll call this uh, text masking. Grab my text tool. And I'm only going to do this on one letter to keep the video short, uh, but obviously it can be done with a much larger piece of text as well. Um, this tends to work best if you have um, handwritten style fonts. Uh, I'm going to try using Giddy Up for mine, and I'll use an uppercase L. It also tends to work better if your um, handwritten font has the same stroke width all the way through it, the same sort of line quality. It's got a little bit of variance, it's not too big of a deal, but if it has too big of a variance, uh, you, you won't be able to match it necessarily with the um, trim paths shape. So our L is going to be our mask layer, and then we're going to put our track mat layer on top. And our track mat layer is going to be used with our pen tool. So I'm going to deselect my composition so that my um, layer is not selected. We don't want to make a mask, we want to make a shape. We're going to take our pen tool, take off your fill, and apply your stroke. Um, and make sure your stroke is thick enough to cover up the entire letter, uh, but not so thick that it's going to be you know, covering up your whole composition. So I'm going to start with 14 on mine, and I'm going to pick a really bright color so it stands out really well. We can tell the difference between the two. Then I'm just going to do a basic shape. This. really quickly knock it out. And if you're much better working in uh, Illustrator, you can make the shape with a stroke in Illustrator first and then convert it to native shapes in After Effects like we've done in previous lessons. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible with the tools in the program. And it doesn't have to be the perfect shape. Um, what you want to make sure you're getting is all of the white space within the letter, and you're not uh, overlapping other pieces of white space that are going to show up later. That'll make sense as we're going through this. All right. Let's start. Need another point. Yeah, pretty good. So about like mine is. It's, it's close, but it's not perfect. I'm going to increase my width. Maybe reposition a little bit. Up, right. So that's good. You now it's covering up my entire text. What we're going to do is we're going to have it wipe this on from the beginning to the end, and then we're going to make that into a track map for the layer below. So if you forgot from last lesson, the way that you're going to wipe this on is we're going to select our group that we want to apply this to, which is our shape one. Go to our add menu and choose trim paths. Little review on what trim paths does. It has the start and end property. The start is going to wipe from the beginning to the end, and the end does the opposite, wipes from the end to the beginning. So what we want is we actually want the end to wipe on from the beginning and then move towards the end. So start out with both your start and your end at zero percent. Then enable your keyframes on your end. Move forward in time. We're going to do about two seconds should work, and then increase all the way to 100 percent. That'll give us our animation of the stroke covering over top of our letter, exactly how we want it. Now this is the easy part. All you got to do is, once again, make sure that your text layer is directly below your shape layer, which is going to be your track mat. And then in the track mat section, alpha mat, track mat. Now you'll have text that draws on. So I can see that my line is a little bit thick. Um, it's best if you can avoid this sort of 
issue where uh, you're seeing this a little bit too much. Um, with a little more time, I could adjust the position of these points and lower my stroke a little bit to make sure that it's right along the edge and I'm seeing less of this. Um, also, if you go a little bit faster, it doesn't seem to show up as badly. Right. This is a great technique. Uh, as I was saying, this could also be used to draw on other objects um, or graphics. It's uh, a great way to kind of combine the track mats and the trim paths effect together.